<laughs> Yo, what up guys? Your boy Kels. Joe. Chubon. Beautiful day to be out here in Ghana. We're actually going to Asanka Local, which is right behind us there. It's an authentic Ghanaian place. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. Okay. So why don't you walk us through what people usually do before they go ahead and eat? So first of all, you have to wash your hands. And then go with salt and then you rinse it with this with clean water. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And we eat with our hands here too. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys about that. <laughs> Our second topic is pretty much about the culture of eating, you know, with your hands. It's very important to get grounded at times, and this may be one of the best ways to get grounded. S-P-O-O-N. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> S-P-O-O-N. That's what it's for. Right? <laughs> I personally believe the reason why we eat with our hands is because back then we didn't have the cutlery. Right. It was the white people that wore the cutlery. Okay. So we knew only how to eat with our hands. So it's so part of our culture to still eat with your hands. I do that a lot in my house, even with rice and stuff. I just munch it with my fingers and then. And I just have some extra spice. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that depends on how well you wash your hands, right? <laughs> so yeah, Joe, what do you feel about eating with your hands? I have eaten with my hands before. So depending on what it is, I'll eat with my hands. Things that are as messy, I don't normally eat with my hands. So like Fufu and Sierra Leone, I'm the guy who eats it with a spoon, right? If I eat it. Uh, yeah, that's not a thing. Uh, my parents aren't really big fans of that either. Like, if, if it's meant to be eaten without a spoon, don't eat with a spoon. But I'm Americanized in that way. Different for us, you're like, yo, bro, like, why are you doing the most right now with your hands? Like, I, I do understand why people say it's good to get around it and actually try it because when you eat with your hands, you have more control, right? With a fork, a knife, and a spoon. If you spend a lot more time, you just put it right into your mouth. You know what I'm yeah, it's like that, it's like that. All right, guys, let's go, let's dig in. Let's eat. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's good. Mm hmm Okay, Vaughn's got it. She got like a three-fingered thing. I didn't see that before. Like the whole... Like this. Okay. Yeah, she's got it down. Let's see what you got, Joe. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Joe's got to take my strong hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't take it from the top, you take it from the side, like in the, okay. into the soup. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's very hot. It's hot down there. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry, I just funny. <laughs> oh, you're right, seriously. Yeah. Just in time. Like, 
for just inside. Flavor. Spicy food here is really good. Yeah. Uh, and it's not just spicy, but it's spicy with flavor. In the US, sometimes you'll get a, it's just hot to be hot, but it doesn't have any good flavor. Okay. But this is like organic, straight from the ground, so yeah. it has a really, really rich flavor. And so I like my food. The spicier, the better. Are you sweating? Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, guys. Yvonne does not sweat. When she sweats, it's hot. You know it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. You know it's hot. I've been crying. I've been crying. Mm -hmm. Like I lost my dog. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating like I stole something. Mm -hmm. It's judgment time. Tell us what you thought about your food. Man, it was really good. Yeah. Satisfying. Um, I couldn't even finish it. It was so much. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna save this for later. But the granite soup, the peanut stew, is very, very good. Yeah. Ivy, so tell us what you thought about your food. Yeah. I just love anything rice and I love peanut soup. So Ooh, body it's bag. Ooh. <laughs> it's all gone. Hi Kel. Yo, what's up guys? How was the food? The food was amazing. I had a couple vulnerable moments. <laughs> I was crying on camera. But it was really good. I like the flavors, very authentic, very different. In America we have different type of spices and you know ingredients so really good it works good together i appreciate the experience thank you for bringing it to this lit you're welcome yeah 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 so church, oh, let's just go to the top bar. Yeah. Leave, you talk a little and then after that you just go home and rest for Monday. So okay. that's just the concept behind yeah. the Sunday special. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So do you guys have any type of like Sunday special? So we don't. It's very different. Um, and we do, we do eat the granat soup or peanut butter soup kind of any day of the week. So it doesn't really have to be on a Sunday. And I don't, we don't do a Sunday special. So this is very interesting. And we also don't do it with rice balls. It's just regular white rice. I think I like them equal. Yeah. Sierra Leone granat soup yeah. and Ghanaian granat soup. The jello? The jello is better in Sierra okay, Leone. Right. I gotta cut them off, I gotta cut them off. In the West Indies, in Caribbean, Puerto Rico, they have Sundays, you definitely get the rice and beans. Okay. Right, okay. right? you get the adobo, the gandules, you know what I'm saying? Chicken, you get the maduro, the plantains. So everybody feels yeah. special on a Sunday, I guess. Right. Yeah. That was our time at Sanka Local. We got some amazing food. Honestly, I think I might need a nap. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Episode two of Gone on Table Talk. We got one more coming. Hope you guys are ready for it. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. Peace out.